Hello guys, welcome to Sunday Problem Solving Challenge. Weekly one topic for our competitive exam preparation. Today we are about to discuss a question from time and work. Specifically we can tell the question is from pipes and system which is related to time and work. We have discussed sufficient number of questions in this particular topic and I have included the playlist of the particular topic in description. So this is question for today's challenge and I will give you two minutes time. Try to pause this video and don't forget to put the answers which you are getting in first attempt in comment below. Welcome back. I believe you got the answer. Let us see how to solve this question. See, people try to solve this problem using the flip method. That is 1 by 36 and 1 by 44. So that is okay. But I will show you how to solve this problem in lesser time, maybe in 40 seconds. So we have two pipes A and B. So pipe A fill the tank in 36 minutes. And pipe B fill the tank in 44 minutes. Since we don't know what is the total capacity of the tank, so what we usually do? we try to take LCM for 36 and 44. So you can assume any value, but in this case, we can take LCM of 36 and 44. Now 36 and 44 LCM. So 36 is nine times four and 44 is 11 times four. Now, okay, we can keep one four and we have a nine and 11. See, we should be strong in taking LCM HCF techniques. So we have discussed that separately in our number system topic, right? Now, LCM of 36 and 44 is 396. So 396 units is the total capacity of the tank. Now, pipe A will fill this 396 units in 36 minutes. So in one minute, pipe A will fill how many units? So 396 units will be filled by pipe A in 36 minutes. So in one minute, pipe A will fill 11 units. Now pipe B will fill how many units in one minute? 396 by 44. Nine units, right? So pipe B will fill nine units per minute. Now, if you read the question once again from second line, both the pipes are opened simultaneously. After how much time? B should be closed. So the tank is full in 27 minutes. Now tank have to be filled in 27 minutes. Now for first some time, pipe A and B worked. After that, pipe B closed, then pipe A filled the remaining tank. Now, if you look at this case, in both the cases, pipe A have worked for 27 minutes in total. Am I right? So pipe A and B have worked for some time, then pipe B have pipe B is closed, then uh, pipe A completed the remaining work. So in both the cases, pipe A is working. So pipe A totally worked for 27 minutes and we know capacity of pipe A that is efficiency of pipe A is 11 units per minute. So if efficiency of pipe A is 11 units per minute for 27 minutes it will fill how many units? 27 into 11? 297 units. So pipe A filled 297 units in the 27 minutes. Now out of 397, pipe A filled 200 and 396 units, pipe A filled 297 units. So remaining we have 99 units. Now this is the work carried out by pipe B, right? Because pipe A's work is 297 units out of 396 units. Now pipe B have completed this 99 units, am I right? So we know capacity of pipe B is 9 units per minute. That is efficiency of pipe B is 9 units per minute. So in how many minutes this pipe B will fill 99 units? 99 by 9. So if you cancel, you get 11 minutes. Which means pipe B have worked for 11 minutes. Now we can take it in this way. Pipe A and B have worked for 11 minutes. Then pipe B was closed. Now pipe A completed the remaining work. So this is our concept. Right now, answer for this question is after 11 minutes, pi B closed. Now, people try to go with options, so they will pick option A and they try to calculate in this way. But imagine if you have a case none of the above, so how you will solve? You will feel it little tedious, right? So, you have to practice this kind of circuit to solve problems in lesser time. So I will try to come up with a lot of uh, different tricks in upcoming days. 
Until that, stay connected. And if you like the video, don't forget to like and share it with your friends. Thank you so much for your patience and have a great day.